The next question is on historic preservation. What are your views on historic preservation in Arlington, and how important is it to you in maintaining Arlington's identity and community? Well, historic, historic preservation is a little bit about that last subject, making this a place that people want to be. They don't want every place looking the same. People want a sense of history, a sense of place, a sense that this is a unique area, and our history does that. Um, when I was on the school board, we voted to preserve the, the Swanson Building and to keep that attractive and to tie in to, to the history of that building, but also to move forward and make it so we can the students could be in it. So we need to keep the history but you need to also make it so that it works for people today. Um, and again, I think the historic preservation folks we have here do great work. I live in Fairlington, and I feel very lucky to be there. It's a historic district. It's a wonderful place. It, it stays the way it is, and people like that. And meanwhile, right next door, Sherlington, changing all of the time. And that provides excitement and vitality. So it is a balance that we need to do. I'm very pleased with the citizens that we've got and the work that they do. And as I say, as we move forward, it's a, it's a balance, which I've done all for the point 20 years um, in public service, and I will continue to do. I think historic preservation is extremely important to the character of Arlington. And one of the things that we've had uh, with our smart growth policies here has been very, very, very successful in Arlington that we've been able to, uh, to add uh, density and add people and grow in a smart way, focus, focus that growth in our metro corridors. And that's been very successful. But I will share with you that my honest assessment is I think one of the things that we could do better in the way that we do our, our redevelopment is to pay more attention to the character of our community. I remember. Uh, working as a representative from my neighborhood on the Clarendon Sector Plan, uh, about uh, that's been about 12 years ago now, and we had a lot of talk about the character of Clarendon and and, and can we keep Clarendon weird? And the truth is, <laughs> the truth is, you know, and, and the answer then was, don't worry, those those places, any place that gets displaced, they'll find somewhere along 10th Street, they'll find some place along Pershing Drive. Well, that didn't happen. Now we have done that, and I, and I think that's unfortunate that that we lost a lot of that hometown yeah. retail. Mm -hmm. But through the tools that we have in our zoning ordinance and the way that we did a really cool thing in Clarendon, actually, if you know where the Walgreens site is there, uh, and we were able to preserve that, and we used what's called a TDR, a transfer of density rights, in order to take the density off of that so the building owner had some incentive to keep that, to keep that is. And by keeping that place there, I think that that helps to preserve some of that, that character. Not every situation, not every building can we be successful in. I know there was a lot of uh, sentiment to uh, to preserve the Wilson School that was not possible. My time's up, but uh, thank you. Thank you.